Right, hi guys. Um, I haven't done anything on this series in a very long time, but today we're going to be revisiting a cooking with Jay almost. Um, we're going to be doing steak again. Why two steaks? Well, I'm hungry, so... And they were on offer, two for seven. Um, this here, I was literally like going to use this and I had to record like before because that was kind of like my... That's where I'm holding my camera. My camera's sort of going to be like there facing that way. Um, so anyway, I've not done anything yet. What we're going to do first of all is season the steaks with salt and pepper. Um, we're going to put the pan on and get that warmed up. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'll walk it through once we're doing it. But right, actually, I don't ever so slightly that way. Wait, I don't even know what you guys can see. There, I think that's right. So I'm going to put some oil in the pan when I can get the lid off. Not too much, just a quick drizzle, just so it doesn't stick too much either. And then, by the way, this pan is a cast iron, the best for steak. And we want to get that as hot as possible. Um, so yeah, I'm going to wash my hands. I don't think I've touched anything. Um, like, where well, I should have to wash my hands, but it's good practice. So, oh, I need to open this. Usually I struggle with these, but first time. Right, so we did get this steak mix, which apparently is just, it's pre-made. It's um, black pepper, ground coriander, and mustard seeds. So, it's pretty nice. I think I've had it before. I can't remember what seasoning I used last time, but the steaks were delicious. So I think it's like three. I don't know. Oh shit! I'm gonna have to like literally use a proper clock here to time this, because I normally use my phone. I could just keep looking at the timer and I guess do it that way. But anyway, let's open that and do the same with the other one. You're probably asking, is two steaks really worth it? Hell yeah. You can never have too much steak. Wow. They just look delicious. So, salt, salt. You can go like, not, you don't want to go like too crazy with seasoning, you want it just to be Add flavour, just not overpower it though. So, um, well, well, you know what? And so that's salt and pepper at the minute, so far. I'm just going to turn that down ever so slightly. As we can see, that's getting warm. I probably could try and do this one-handed, but I don't know if it would work. So then again, we want just a very, very light but nice coating on it. And the same on here. And then I am going to rub this in, but I'm not going to see this side. But if you rub it in, it just helps it absorb the flavour. These are a little bit cold, I should have left these out a little bit longer. Um, ideally about 15 minutes if you leave the steak out, it gets to room temperature. So. At the minute, like, obviously the outsides are warming up and the inside's still, like, really cold. Which isn't ideal, because it cooks unevenly. Um, I like the fact, I just had a thought then, um, that, like, I'm going to check my hair. Is my hair fine for this video? But we'll just go with it. Um, so anyway, yeah, I know a lot of people have been, like, wondering where I've gone. I'm sorry guys, I've just been very busy in real life and it's difficult to find time for YouTube, which isn't me making excuses or anything, it's just how it is. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do this video as a part update, just so you know that I've not died and... Um, yeah, but I'm still... I am still doing stuff on YouTube, like for example I did a, how much of that have I used, I don't know that much. I have done like a part on Prison Architect, but I've only done one part so far, so I've not uploaded it for that very reason. Um, oh that looks amazing. 
So I'll show you this, this is all padded in. Um, I'll use my left hand. Yeah, this feels awkward to grab. So, that's it seasoned. Um, it's hard to copy that exact amount, but just try, I suppose. You know what, I'm gonna move my camera set up. Let me just wash my hands and we'll move you over there. Actually, I'm trying to think if there's a better way of doing that. Maybe the rest will stink better. Um, I'm trying to like look for something elevated. So that pan is very hot now. When I put these six steaks in, you'll hear a very big sizzle, um, which is what we want. If I do this, there we go. So, see the different camera angles I try and get for you guys. So I'm going to plant that like that. Get this honey, which is from someone at work. It's delicious. Um, I could vertical film. Oh god, this is not. I need it like there. I wonder if this canister will work. It's there. I think it could. If I stick the honey behind it. Oh shit. My god, this is like the most complex and ridiculous recording setup ever. I can't even show you how crazy this is. It's something like that, and I've got my phone wedged in there. That's just how crazy this is. Right, hopefully that doesn't flick my fo phone into the pan. Um, I know it's waterproof my phone, but I don't think it's that heat proof. Um, I am just going to get a pair of like regular tongs. Just to uh, um, turn the meat. And the time is 25 past. 25 past 8. God, it's dark early. Anyway, listen for the sizzle. That means the pan's nice and hot. And the steak is cooking. So, I'm going to be guessing with a lot of this. Um, but I'm going to try and leave about 90 seconds to 2 minutes before I flip them over. And that should... Oh, that smells incredible. But it should make a really nice um, horizontal sear on them. Um, which should be good. And also, I don't know if you can see me, but I'm also going to have some microchips. I love microchips, but seriously, put a nice kind of chip. Although sweet potato fries, holy shit. That's definitely sweet so yeah, I apologise. I'm going back to YouTube now. I apologise, I've not been streaming or making many videos. I am wanting to. I just don't get time. Um, I'm going to put those in in a bit. Get a fire ready. There we go. I'm probably not going to be able to hear a thing. So I'm guessing about 90 seconds might have gone by now. So I'll just leave it a little longer on this side, and then we're going to flip it. So, probably about 140. Actually, we're not going to know, are we? Because this is like, probably six minutes into the video. I suppose you could have a stop and start time for the steaks, but... The pan does get very hot as well, but it's not too hot at the minute, but I probably will need oven gloves towards the end of this. Um, right here we go. Let's pull this off and look at that. Beautiful. Very nice. Showering. Holy crap. That looks amazing. Have you say so myself? I'm very pleased with that. Um, yeah. So you're probably wondering what you can hear. Um, I'm just literally, I'm going to do it now more, but what's that, I don't know, a bit of food or something. Yeah, that's not too, actually that's very hot now. But I'm just literally going to soak this plate in really hot water, and it heats the plate, you can see steam actually now. And that will just keep that plate really nice and hot, so when the sticks are sat out resting, which we have to do, um, they're not going to go completely cold. So I'm just going to stick you back here. 
Such a good sear on the other side, but it is a pretty good sear. So these are not going to have too long in the pan. Um, it's going to tap that seasoning back in. And they're looking amazing. I don't know how they're looking on YouTube. I'm just having a look now behind the camera. And they actually do look pretty good. Um, so yeah, we'll leave them in a bit longer. I do want to cook that fat on the side, which I'll do soon. I think another three minutes. Um, what are you going to talk about the three minutes, Joe? You've already said everything. I don't know. I have no idea. What do you guys want to see me play? Give me some ideas for some games. I might not have them. Um, what have I been up to? All the way on holiday, I haven't posted any footage from that yet, but I will be making another holiday video. Um, so there's that to look forward to. Um, you know what, I'm going to give this another quick turn. Oh wow. That is amazing. Yeah, that's perfectly cooked on that side. I'll just leave it like that a little bit. What I'm going to do now is, you're not going to see this, but I'm just literally going to drain that hot water from the plate. And with this towel, which you can just see at the top of the shot there, I'm going to dry this plate. It's going to stay, because they're coming out soon. Already, they're going to be coming out. See, I should really let these rest a lot longer, but I think it will. So, there we go. Right, let's rend this back. So, uh, just cut, yeah, we'll just literally send these edges and cook them. That's why there's a lot of smoke. But it just makes the fat. One taste it, and two it doesn't make it like this horrible and gooey. So that's that side done. As you can see, actually, there's a nice charm out there, and it's all cooked. I know about this bit there not being cooked as such, but that's fine. We're just literally rendering the fat. We're not rendering the ends. The ends are fine. So just stick that back in. Yeah, that's cooked on that side beautifully. Just run this side. And the opposite side. So I'm going to kill the heat because I don't want to cook it anymore. And then it will play. That is hot. So I'm going to pull the plate there. And wham. One stick. Wham. Two sticks. Um, I really should have brought some hot water for this pan, but. Right, what we'll do is, um, so there's the steaks. God, they look good. See if we can get a nice shot of them. Focus. 
There you go. Hopefully that's the thumbnail. Look at those steaks, they look nice. I don't know if to put that flat, whatever. I don't know if flat steaks like the juices sell better. But there's our two steaks. We've got 1 minute 19 on the microwave. Um, I'm going to run this. Shove whatever that is down the drain. Not ideal, it might block, but you will learn. Oven glove. Then grab the pan, because it is hot. A little bit of water. And like I said, it is very hot. And just a bit more water now, just to cool it down. I don't want to cool it down instantly either, because it'll break. But there we go. And then I can literally just kind of wash that now, whilst it's easy to wash. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to literally run it with hot water till it starts running at least a clearish colour. Why am I showing you how to wash up? I guess it's having nothing better to do. 20 seconds on the ship. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to now set up a new recording station here. Um, how am I going to do this? I have a clue. I've not planned this properly. Let's use the honey again. Actually, do I do it? Do, should I do Ooh, look at that blood. That's delicious. Good sure you're not a vampire. So, ow. <whistles> yep, we've been cast iron. It, like, literally conducts heat ridiculously well. I'm going to chuck a bit of washing up liquid in. Do you guys enjoy these, like, boring, mundane bits, like the washing up part? So you'll have to let me know. Um, microchips. Ow, 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 hot. Very hot. That steam's actually coming from the microwave. Oh, shit. Bit of a disaster. We're a bit out of vinegar. But we'll give our chips a nice vinegar coat in. Like so. Turn that off. Pick these up, bring them over here. And just put some salt in. And then we'll... I'll try to normally give them a shake. Wait, two seconds. Um, oh, look at that. Actually, you know why I'm going to put that flat? I'm scared the juices are not going to settle properly. Yep, that is me licking my fingers, and yep, it is delicious. Maybe I should bring that. I can't believe that's been my recording, <laughs> my recording platform. Wait, is this a good recording platform? No. We know we are, but is it going to be our recording platform? Yeah. And my phone just fell. Whoops. Anyway, you know what? Wait, if I do that. Top pepper stand. Save me. Right, you know what that'll do. So literally, I'm just gonna fold the microchip box lid on, quick shake, and voila. Are you hiding? One box. Why have I got two? Again, one's not enough. Like two boxes are a good amount of chips in there. So quick shake, just to separate everything and then just literally, actually I don't want that chip there. Why am I doing fancy presentation when there's all eating it? I don't know. It's going on YouTube, that's why I suppose. I'm going to wash my hands with cold water because that friggin' hot tap would be, well, just that, hot. Move my steak seasoning over to the rest of the seasoning, you will knock something else over. And, ta-da! Um, I will cut into this steak and show you how it looks inside. It should be um, medium rare. But like I said, I didn't time it properly. I'm just kind of going by ear. I don't know. That's not right, exactly the right expression. How am I going to do this? Oh, for fuck's sake. If any of you want to be a cameraman, let me know. Are you joking, Jenny? Yeah, I am actually. Still recording. Right, great. So let's just do 
I don't know where to do the cross section from. We'll cut across through there. Oh, that looks perfect. So, yeah. I don't know, what can you guys see? So, yeah, there you have it. Um, medium rare. I do like it rare, but I also do like it like sort of anywhere between rare and medium. So, yeah. If we pull that piece away, voila. Oh, that looks so goddamn juicy. Let's do a taste test, shall we? Oh, that's a big piece as well. Yeah, so good. Um, yeah, so I'm going to tuck into this now. Thanks for watching. Um, and I guess I'll see you next time.